Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install any Epson printer driver in a Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy. Go to the, this PC, right click on this PC. Here we find properties, click on properties. In properties, we find system type. If system type is equal to 32 bit, that means our machine is 32 bit. If system type is 64 bit, that means our machine is 64 bit operating system machine. This machine is 64 bit operating system machine. Close it. After that, go to the any web browser that you like. I'm going to the Google Chrome. And here type Ipson printer driver. Type Ipson printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Ipson. Get support for your printer. Open the first link from the Epson. Here we find many things. Scroll down and go to the search. Here we find search by your product name, your product name, your model number or anything about your printer. Example as my printer model number or the printer name is L3156. So I type L3156. And here we click on the search or click on directly here. I go to the here search. And it's refresh our page and here we find our result Ipson, our printer name. Here we find our printer name and the model number. Click on your printer name and your model number. And it's redirect you to the Ipson printer driver website. And here we find your printer name. Here we find Ipson printer name. Scroll down and here we find operating system. Many times it's automatically detect your operating system. In some cases is not detect just like this. Here go to the here. Please choose. Choose an OS operating system. Click at here. And if your machine is 32 bit, then go to the Windows 10, 32 bit. If your machine is Windows 10, 64 bit, then go to the 64 bit. In this case, this machine is 64 bit. So I click on the Windows 10, 64 bit. Here we find go button. Click on go. And it's refresh once again. And here we find our operating system. And here we find our all drivers. And two drivers are IMP for us. If your printer has a scanner, then go to the scanner driver. My printer has a scanner and the printer. So I go to the scanner driver and the printer driver. If not a scanner driver, then go to the directly printer driver only. In this case, I'm going to the scanner driver first. I click on the download, click on the accept. Our download is started at here. It's take few seconds. So be a patient and wait for a few seconds. Our download is completed now. Go to the here. Here we find downloads. Click on show in a folder. Minimize it and drag this scanner driver to desktop. Close it. Go to the our web browser once again. Go to the back. Here we find back button. Go to the back. Here we find our printer driver. Click on this printer driver download. It's redirect once again. Click on the accept. Our download is started at the top. It's took a few seconds. So be a patient and wait for a few seconds. Our download is completed now. Go to the downloads. Here we find show in a folder. Click on show in a folder and drag this setup file to the desktop. Close it. Here is our printer driver. And if you have a scanner, then here we find a scanner drivers. Right click on the your printer driver and click on the extract files. Click on the OK. It's extract our files. And here is the our extracted file. Double click on it. Double click on it. Double click on it. And here we find our drivers. There are two ways to download or install install this driver. First way is double click on this scanner driver, a printer driver, and install it. Next, 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 and install it. And second way is manual install. I'm going to the manual install. That is very easy and simple. Go there, close it, and go to the start and type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In printers and scanners, here we find add a printer or scanner. Click on add a printer or scanner. It's refresh your page or refresh this thing. And few options or one option is appear. The new option is the printer that I want isn't listed. Click at here. Minimize it. Here we find many options. Go to the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual setting. Go to the last option. Click on the next. Here we find port. Port is the most IMP part in this installation. Go to the here port and select USB port. Select any USB port. USB 001, 002, 003, 004. Select any USB port. Click on the next. Go to the have a disk. Go to the browse. Go to the desktop. Here we find our drivers. Double click on the our driver folder. Double click on it. Here we find our driver. Double click on it. 
double click on it and here we find our drivers select any drivers that you want i select this driver click on the open click on the ok here we find our ipson l3150 it is a series of this printer select that and select your printer name or the series printer or the select your printer proper name in this case this is the series of this printer select your printer name and click on the next here we find printer name add any printer name that you want or go as it is i go with the 1503156 i go with the 3156 and click on the next it's installing our printer it's take one or two seconds or the few minutes so be a patient and wait for a few seconds our printer is installed now if you want to share this printer on network then go to the sh share this printer with network i don't want so i click on do not share this printer select first option click on next if you want to print a test page then click on print a test page or click on the finish our printer is installed now go to the scanner part if you have a scanner on your machine on your printer then go to the scanner part also double click on the scanner click on the yes it start installing click on the next accept the terms and condition click on the next it's installing our scanner it take few minutes our scanner is also installed click on finish go to the start power button and restart your machine after machine is restart check our printer is properly installed or not that is very easy go to the start type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners and if you find your install printer at this point that means your printer is properly installed and it's 110% work with your windows 10 pc or laptop so guys this is the simplest way to install this printer on windows 10 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys